the target there. It's his Cook who can't reach it now. Marshall can. Nicely down by Marshall. Off he goes. He's looking for Brody. Brody blasts one in. The flag is already up. James McEwen. Cook. Good touch by Cook. Joe Colbeck. Disley goes with him. Brody goes outside. Can't get it to him, but Brody will pick up the pieces. Good play by the big fella. Niven. Still Niven. Sam Hatton. That's nicely played. Disley. Niven. We've got found ourselves a bit of space here. That's why Thomas is very wide. Niven looking to go through the middle if he can. That's good play by Niven. Brought in Hatton. Now, where's the targets? Cook's one of them. Marshall is behind him. Marshall is in there. It's not away yet. Flag is up. Harris. Nice touch inside. Harris goes again. He's left Hatton behind. Sam Hatton gets in now. Now Rose's ball in. Miller is there. Marcus Marshall took his eye. Didn't even look at the ball. Whoa. Well, good play there. Crawford. Harris. Nice touch inside. Harris goes again. He's left Hatton behind. Sam Hatton gets in now. Now Rose's ball in. Miller is there. Marcus Marshall took his eye. Didn't even look at the ball. Whoa. Well, good play there. Crawford. Colbeck with it. Well, brings in Hatton. It's not a good one. Hatton still gets it in. And it's not away yet. Disley at distance. Oh, yes! What a strike! What a strike by Disley! Twenty-four minutes in, and Dartford absolutely static. Well, it was a strange corner from Joe Colbeck, but he knew what he was doing, and Hatton just about clipped that ball in, and then when the header came back outside the area, there is Craig Disley doing what we know he can do, and he hammered that ball in. Still Hatton, has got to make his mind up. Disley, loop down the line. Who's chasing it? Brody, of course, who is being pulled back. Still Brody, still going. Good lad. Niven to Cook. Niven blasts one in and it is wide of the mark. Good play by Town. And again, it's Richard Brody instrumental in it. Chasing a ball that on another day would have been dead. Hatton, forward from him. Miller again, nicely, that's Niven, found Niven in a good bit of space here, we have played half an hour, ball back to Niven, that's good play, Disley again, there's the ball forward, it's a good one to Cook, palmed wide by Bettinelli, great play by Town. Sean Pearce, now let's get this corner in, a bit more like it, there's Miller! Bullet header. Bettinelli takes it right on the line. And um, great run by Aswad Thomas. Now we have taken it short. Marcus Marshall hits the line. Needs to get it back now. Just wide. It's not even gone yet. It was Brody slid it across the face of the goal. And it comes now. Two men looking for it. Colbeck. Last one in. It is blocked. In comes Hatton, who was pulled around. But I think Brody was very close to the mark there. Quickly taken free kick. Joe Colbeck didn't get much on it. Brody with a header on. There's Andy Cook. It's taken away from him. Sam Hatton. That's a good early ball. Joe Colbeck, give it some height. Miller. Got it early there, did Ian Miller. No reason why he shouldn't have a go. Cook, Brody, still Brody charging down that line. Cook goes after it. Cook gets it. That's a good play by Cook. Really good play. Look at this, strong. Uh, it's come nicely to Marshall. Nobody in the middle. Deep. Col oh, no, no, no. Joe Colbeck, how did he miss it? 
How on earth did he not hit the target? Marshall's ball in was perfect. <laughs> Even Joe Colbeck and the referee have a smile about it. My, my crikey, he should have buried it. Joe Colbeck chasing back, doing enough. Sam Hatton, Cook off the chest. Now Brody just gets enough on it. Still Brody, good lad. Now Aswad Thomas, Marshall outside him. This is Marcus Marshall. Two men to beat, gives it back to Thomas. Good play. This is looking interesting. Oh! He definitely got a nudge. It's a corner kick. Lee Noble. That's a good free kick. Mil uh, Disley, oh, back. Oh, what a save! It's not dead yet. The flag is up. That is as good a save as you're going to see all season. Standing ovation from the Dartford fans as well. Standing ovation that is an absolute blinding save by James McEwen. And you can hear what it means. That ball was basically in the back of the net. Well, it got in there, and Dartford made it very difficult. Oh, it's a poor ball, it's a poor ball. Here's Pearson. That's not much better. Bradbrook, just when we need to be careful, we're letting ourselves get sloppy. Noble drives the ball into the back post, and oh, on the far post there, it was James Rogers. He got away from Hatton. Pearson in again. Gets away. This is Andy Cook. Did well. Great ball. Hannah! The flag was up. I just don't know. They're very, very sharp offside decisions. Nicely, Joe Colbeck, still Joe Colbeck, back to Sam Hatton, didn't take it with him. Oh, well in by Disley, Disley, oh, yes! It's in, it's in! Craig Disley, well, from up here it looked in. Look at the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper knows it was in. The goalkeeper knows it was in. Disley took a chance, he beamed one in. Bettinelli knows it was in. Well, could what could the value of that be? 39 minutes played. Craig Disley took a chance. Drove the ball in, left footed, there was nothing on. And Bettinelli spilled it. Five minutes to play out. We are getting Linnell John Lewis warmed up on the bench. Linnell John Lewis has got his top back on. Taken away from Devitt. Devitt hasn't had a sniff so far. Aswab Thomas, now Niven, well in. Here is Devitt. Aswab Thomas with a clip forward. Devitt will chase. Back it comes at us. Niven waits, well in by Niven. Crawford, can't get it further than Aswab Thomas. Andy Cook will chase it on. Andy Cook gets in, who's a, who's a support? Still Andy Cook, drags on in! Yes! 3-0! Andy Cook! It had to be! It had to be! Andy Cook drives it in, near post! Sheer perseverance! Brody did it all afternoon until he went off. Andy Cook's been doing it all afternoon. And through sheer perseverance, we've got a third goal out of the game. There's a book in here for Andy Cook, I'm afraid. It's a shame. Sometimes you wonder whether we can't turn a blind eye, but... 3-0. Well...
42 minutes gone. Out of nothing really, Andy Cook chased that ball. He took it to the byline, he checked back, he brought it back to the edge of the six yard area. He looked to see who was there, went alone, as did Disley. And it's in the back of the net, but look out. Dart for the coming back at us. Well, Andy Cook, he keeps going, he keeps going, he keeps going. You can't knock him down. If you do, he gets up and gets at you again. And that's exactly how he gets his goals. There's a lot of work going in. They'll take him off now, and you listen to the reception when he goes off. Oh, or maybe they won't. It is, yeah. Tremendous reception for Andy Cook, quite right. Lionel John Lewis comes on. Niven, still Niven, pokes it forward, he can't find Lionel. Aswad Thomas, make sure, make sure. Good man. Hannah, a little bit of silliness down here, and Aswad Thomas was taken late. Ah, we don't want anything daft now, we don't... Oh. It was late. It was late by Noble. One last push from Dartford. Is there any consolation for them at the end? In it comes. It's not away yet. Oh, Jamie Devitt doing very well. And the whistle goes. Well, it's a big scoreline in the end. And it's a big performance by Town. Because it wasn't going quite to plan. We were 1-0 up. And then, what, six minutes from time, Craig Disley comes in, gets his second goal, made it 2-0, it was looking good, but Andy Cook put the icing on the cake to make it 3-0. Meanwhile, of course, as Martin quite rightly reminding us, at 1-0 to town, that fella there made the most outstanding save. And the whole ground stood up because the ball was in the back of the net. And look at him, you see. He knows full well, poor old Bettinelli letting that second goal. Seems a long time ago now, but James McEwen's save was as important as the last two goals were for Grimm.